City Church families. Hope you guys are doing well. We are at the end of our Promise series where we've been studying Genesis. Let's start today with our five-week memory verse. The Lord is good to all. Psalm 145, 9. Now in today's lesson, we are going to learn about Joseph a bit more in the end of his story. Joseph ruled over his brothers just like his dreams had shown that we learned about before. God had promised Joseph that he would take care of him and Joseph knew that God would keep his promises. It took some time, but God's promises to Joseph came true. Joseph became someone his whole family and everyone in Egypt admired and looked up to just like he had dreamed about a long time ago. Let's go ahead and watch our Bible story today together. And I hope you have a great week, Oak City Kids. It's time for our Bible story. After Joseph's brothers had sent him away, he ended up in a different land called Egypt. Joseph worked very hard in this new place. But wasn't he sad? I'm sure he was, but he knew that what God promised in his dreams would happen eventually. Joseph worked for a very important man in Egypt named Potiphar. Potiphar trusted Joseph and put him in charge of his entire house. That sounds like a big job. It sure was, and Joseph took it very seriously. But one day, Potiphar's wife told a lie about Joseph, which made Potiphar very angry, and he sent Joseph to prison right away. Oh no, it seems like only bad things are happening to Joseph. It does seem that way, but guess what? Joseph knew he did nothing wrong. So even in prison, he kept working hard and never gave up on the dreams God showed him a long time ago. He trusted God. He did. Joseph's gift became known to other prisoners around him. They tell him their own dreams and Joseph would then tell them what it meant. It was a wonderful gift that he had. After some time, the Pharaoh of Egypt heard about Joseph and his gift for explaining the meanings of dreams. You see, Pharaoh had some bad dreams himself and needed some help. Oh my! So Joseph was taken to see Pharaoh. Joseph told Pharaoh what his dreams meant and that they were going to have seven good years and seven very bad years. There would be no food in the land during the bad years. For seven years? Yes, but don't worry, Joseph gave Pharaoh a plan. They'd need to save extra food within the seven good years, so they would have enough food for the seven bad years that would come after. Pharaoh was very happy with that idea and set Joseph free from prison. Awesome! It didn't stop there. As time went on and the bad years came, Joseph's family back home were running out of food. So Joseph's brothers came to Egypt to buy food. By now, Joseph was a very important man in Egypt. If I were Joseph, I would have said, told ya. Can you imagine how Joseph must have felt? Happy to see them, but also sad and maybe even a little angry. But in the end, Joseph recognized them and forgave them for being mean to him. After that, the entire family moved to Egypt where Joseph could make sure that they were well. It took what seemed like a long time, but God's promises came true. Joseph saved his family and helped to save all of Egypt too. He was an important man that everyone looked up to, just as he had dreamt a long time ago. 